good people welcome back to the nursing moms i'm nurse janet for those who don't know me and in this video here today i want to talk about sex during pregnancy yeah this is one of the topics that got a lot of questions by the way like is it safe to have sex during pregnancy will it harm my baby what is the recommended position to have sex during pregnancy and again things like uh, when should you not have sex during pregnancy and lastly i'll also tackle the benefits of having sex during pregnancy is it safe to have sex during pregnancy yes having sex during pregnancy is totally safe sex is just a natural and healthy part of any other relationship or even marriage so having sex during pregnancy is totally safe because first you will not reach your baby most of the time couples worry whether the sexual intercourse can either harm their baby and whether it can cause preterm labor or even it can rupture their membrane this is not correct because the baby is enclosed in the uterus there is those uterine muscles that is protecting your baby and again remember the cervix is closed and there is a mucus plug at the entrance of the cervix so there is no way a penetration can reach your baby there is no way the semen can also reach your baby so having sex during pregnancy whichever the position that is comfortable with you is naturally okay healthy and very safe during pregnancy every pregnancy is different and every individual is equally different again the question of sexual urge during pregnancy actually differs from each woman to the next some experienced increased sexual urge some experienced totally decreased sexual urge and again this cuts across the trimesters differently in the first trimester due to changes in your body and uh, the morning sickness the bulky breast vomiting fatigue you can realize that your sexual urge will always decrease yeah because actually you are fatigued that you, that means you are tired you might not get the urge compared to when you are okay and again in the second trimester when the morning sickness symptoms have reduced some women tend to enjoy sex more more and want it more often yeah the sexual urge can increase in the second star but again i told you it's different from each and every individual of a woman yeah in the third trimester due to changes in your body the growing abdomen the leaking breast i mean the changes are so forth and there are so much you can realize that you might even have that urge but again the position and all that can interfere with you and you might find yourself not enjoying sex all this is normal by the way because whether you had it in this pregnancy you can realize that you are having an increased urge and in the next pregnancy you totally you don't want anything to do with your hobby all this is normal when should you refrain or not have sex during pregnancy when the benefits of not having sex during pregnancy outweighs the benefits of having sex during pregnancy, then your healthcare provider will tell you to refrain from sexual activities for some time. What are some of the reasons that you will make your healthcare provider to tell you not to engage into sexual activities for some time? When you are at a risk of miscarriage, or medically we can say when you have what we call a threatened abortion, yeah. If you are at risk of miscarriage and you've been told to have a bed rest, you are, your body is required just to be at rest, by the way, you are not supposed to engage in any sexual activity. Remember, the orgasm contractions are almost similar to the contractions that may initiate labor. So we are trying to preserve this baby and this is the time that you will be told to refrain from sexual activities until further notice another good reason why you'll be told to refrain from sexual activities is when you have the mcdonald stitch in c2 the stitch that is put to close your cervical opening remember it tried to open before time so there is that stitch that the gynecologist the doctor will put there 
at least to prevent it from opening further, you are not required to engage in sexual activities around this. The third reason is if you've had preterm labor, actually it's not yet 37 completed weeks of gestation and you are already going into labor. Most of the time you'll be, you'll be told to have a bed rest. So if you experienced preterm labor, you are not supposed to engage in sexual activities, at least for some time. Your doctor will advise you the best time. And lastly, if your membranes ruptured before time, yeah. If you've had premature rupture of membranes, you are not expected to engage in sexual activities. Please, if you've been told not to engage in sexual activities by the doctor, remember there is a good reason behind it. Actually, if you engage in sexual activities and all the, the above results are pointing to something that will lead to premature labor or you giving birth before time. So this is what the doctor will be trying to prevent. Sexual activity can trigger this. What are the benefits of having sex during pregnancy? There are several benefits that is associated with having sex during pregnancy. The first one is bonding. Actually, it will help you bond more effectively with your partner. The second one, sex during pregnancy improves your sleep. Yeah. It also improves your immunity. It gives you better orgasms. And when you when you're just about to go to labor or again things to do with post dentism sex can always trigger labor sex during pregnancy is also associated with the easy recovery during the postpartum period and again it reduces the pain and discomfort in pregnancy for your own physical health remember sex is an exercise you will be using energy and burning calories so it is one of the an exercise that is really enjoyable let's talk about the recommended positions to have sex during pregnancy remember you have your belly growing and you want to take care of your baby you don't want anything that will harm him or her yeah and again the time you have to enjoy yourself so what is the best or the recommended position first any position that puts pressure or any weight on your abdomen is not recommended one of the most recommended position is lying sideways it will relieve your abdominal pressure off you and again at least it will give your partner an easy time so it will be lying sideways maybe with your man from behind and another recommended one is maybe a woman on top do not try these positions past six 16 weeks yeah uh, something like lying on your back is not recommended from 16 weeks onwards post because you will be pressing on major blood vessels and these can lead to oxygen cut off to your baby. These blood vessels are supplying oxygen to your baby. So if you will be pressing on them, that might be a problem. Another one is not to lie on your abdomen or on your stomach for obvious reasons of discomfort. And again, you'll be pressing much on your baby. And there is no recommended time that you should stop engaging into sexual intercourse. Yeah, there is this notion that okay, having sexual intercourse from a certain gestation may make your baby dirty. No, that is not okay. It is a lie because uh, just as I told you previously, that your baby is closed. In a way that there is nothing that can reach him or her so it is safe to have sex to the last minute whichever the way you want it as long as you are comfortable there is no harm so there is no specific gestation period for you to stop having sexual intercourse